Hey guys, what's up? Bad news, today's the last day of summer break for me, and I've still got a honeydew list that's about four miles long. So hopefully I can get that stuff knocked out today or I'm gonna be in trouble. However, today on my vlog, I wanna talk to you guys about some tips to help out with keto. Especially if you're new or haven't been doing it long and you're just looking for a couple things to help out. Now, some of these tips are, honestly, they're gonna seem like low-hanging fruit or None of them are rocket science, but they're just some guidelines that I've stuck to that's helped me out big time. Like I said, I've, I've lost 50 pounds and I'm still cutting with a keto diet. And these are just things that work for me. They might not work for everybody, but this is my tips. First tip I got for you guys out there is number one, and I think the most important tip about a ketogenic lifestyle is to keep it simple. Keep it simple. That is the trick right there. Keto does not have to be overcomplicated. And that's the secret with life as well. Don't overcomplicate things and things are gonna go pretty easy and smoothly for you. Now, you can look at a million places online or anywhere else and it's easy. It takes that long to find a list of what you can eat and what you can't eat when you're on keto. When you're looking for stuff on keto, you do become more aware looking at labels and stuff. I never looked at labels nutrition facts and stuff on food when I eat it. When I started doing keto, hey, I'm that guy in the store that picks up stuff when I take a look. Know what you're looking for. It's super simple. It is not rocket science. Keep it simple. Eat what you're supposed to eat. Don't eat what you don't need to eat. That's it. That's the most simple part. And the thing about keto is it's true for the most part. You go into you know, most grocery stores, you only need to hit the outside. So at one grocery store I go to, one side of the store is all your produce and stuff. The back part is like all your meats and then the other parts like cheese and everything else. And the only reason I'll hit any of the other aisles in the grocery store is for, I have a almost two year old kid. And obviously she's not doing keto. So if I got to pick up crackers for her or something, then I hit other parts. But for me, it's real simple. And by adopting this lifestyle, I cut my grocery bill down exponentially. So realistically, if you just stick to eating meat, the right veggies, don't eat the wrong veggies, and cheese, and some of you will cut out dairy, and that's that's fine to understand, then it's, it's that simple. And like I said, there's a million resources online. So just go online, look for what you're supposed to eat, don't eat what you're not supposed to eat. You know, if you can cut out bread, pasta, everything carby, I had sodas, beer, I had to cut out, and before that, you know, when I would drink, I would drink like those hard ciders and stuff. I didn't realize how much crap was in those. Um, Another part with the keeping it simple, my advice is, is unless you're, unless you have a certain goal in mind, I don't necessarily know if I always recommend tracking. And when I say tracking, I'm talking about people, you know, keeping track of their macros day in and day out. If you're just looking to drop a little bit of weight and you're not, you know, prepping for, you're not bodybuilding, you're not doing other stuff, you can still drop a ton of weight and you can feel great by just simply doing it and not tracking. Now there are great tools out there. My fitness pal, I've used that in the past. You plug in everything, it gives you your macros. It's it's really easy to use. Any I mean any idiot could use it. If you're into that, use it. But you don't have to. And when you look online, people are you know, when they're doing keto, they're all about tracking this and tracking. Nah, just if you adopt a lifestyle, the results are gonna come to you eventually. In fact, I'm I know tons of people who started doing keto and they weren't even exercising or working out and they still were able to drop weight. So it's gonna work. If you work for it, it works for you. And the hardest part is just doing it, but keep it simple. And the more simple that you keep it, the easier that it is to stick to. And the more simple you keep it, the cheaper it is. Sometimes you see people's list of what they buy for keto, you'll see certain keto shopping lists. And some of the stuff on there is oddly specific or very expensive. Now, if you live out in the sticks or somewhere where you can't get to like a Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or something like that, um, and all you have is like a food line or something, then they're not gonna have that stuff. It's all right. You can keep it simple. You don't need super specific oils and you don't need, you know, certain specific grass-fed organic butter. Like, you'll be just fine. There's a, you'll be all right, I promise. So today, I'm about to head to the gym as I do every morning during the summer. And it's about 8 a.m. now. And today is the last day probably for a while that I'll be going to the gym at this time. So we'll see what happens there. Today is a chest and triceps day, ab, and some abs. So we'll get it on. I'll 
afterward, I gotta go directly to the grocery store and get groceries. I'll share with you guys a little bit about what my shopping list kind of looks like. And the thing is, is with what I do, because I keep it simple, my shopping list is pretty much the same every week. So I don't even like, I, I very rarely make a list anymore. So after a while, it just becomes so second nature that it becomes easy. But you'll see what I'm talking about and we'll go from there. See you in a bit. You're looking for discretion, peering down scenic view. Although it looks pathetic, your eyes know just what to do. Maybe I'm beyond, maybe I catch a little vibe. Maybe we can call it right now and slide back to my eye. store and in this case I went to Walmart so I worked out went and got groceries it was really busy in there today for a Thursday I usually during the summer go in the mornings because you know any of you out there know how Walmart grocery store gets at any time besides early in the morning it gets pretty crazy in there and I haven't had a problem with it all summer I went today it was wild in there I wanted to get a couple shots but it was just way too freaking busy same thing with the gym I was able to get a few shots to start. There was nobody in there. And all of a sudden, about 15 old people showed up. They just went in there. And sometimes people get weird if you're filming or whatever. And they're worried you're putting them in it. I don't know. So it is what it is. But now I want to talk about my grocery haul that I just picked up. And in this case, what you're about to see is it's set for about a week and a half. So in this case, I usually do grocery Saturday to Saturday. And then during the school year, I make sure it's well planned because during the week, Who's got time after work to go to the gym and get groceries? Like, go to the gym, but to stop and get groceries, it's just such a huge pain in the butt. So I picked up a little bit more than I usually do. Today I spent about 140 bucks, which is for, it's gonna go a week and a half, and it's a little more than I usually spend. Remember though, some of the stuff that I buy isn't exactly keto friendly because it's stuff for my child. In this case, I'm gonna show you just the keto stuff for me, and then my wife, if she chooses to do it here and there, so this is what I got. So let's go ahead and take a look here at some of the stuff I got. And some of the like keto staples, if you will. So one keto staple here, and this is something that varies. So in my case, I buy a lot of cheese. Um, I buy the Walmart brand of cheese when I go to Walmart for two reasons. Number one, it's cheap. Number two, if you notice in the slices, all three of the different kinds I got, zero carbs. Now I know some people when they do keto, they kick dairy out as well. And I did that when I first started keto. But I reincorporated dairy, and I'm just fine. I have no problems with it. Another thing is I buy lots of lunch meat. Uh, same thing, Walmart brand, except and I got chicken breast, ham, hard salami, and pastrami. I got a different brand, and one reason is because they don't have pastrami in the other brand. But you can make some killer wraps, and as you see some of my other videos, I eat wraps big time. Generally speaking, during the work week, I eat leftovers from the night before, but it's always good to have that just in case. Or some nights you just don't feel like cooking anything, so you can throw together some wraps and you're good to go. Uh, when it comes to meat, picked up big thing of ground beef, picked up a five pounder. If I go to Piggly Wiggly, I'll get the 10 pounder. It's a great deal, 
but I'm gonna do another video where I'll show you what I do with that. I got some cheap steaks on sale. If I see steaks on sale, I'll pick them up. I'm not a big steak guy. You know, some folks are like, hey, I'm a steak and potato kind of guy. Not really me so much, but those little steaks, I could throw them in the crock pot when I go to work, come home, maybe have it with some cauliflower, some broccoli, or just with a salad. Super easy. That's one thing when you're working, as many of you know, the crock pot is your best friend. That thing is so easy. I go to work in the mornings. Before I go, usually if I work out, I'll get up at 4.30. I'll be leaving the house at about 10 to 5. And I'll have the crock pot. I'll real quickly just throw everything in there. I get home in the afternoon about 3, 3.30 and good to go. Chorizo. If, you don't, if you're not familiar with chorizo, get familiar with it. The stuff is great. I'm going to do something really awesome with this though. Chorizo is something that's also real easy to cook. I always pick up a couple of things of hot dogs. Uh, got some Nathans here. I like those a lot. Any keto staple, as you know, bacon. Picked up some bacon. I love bacon. Now, I'm not one of those bacon people that people go nuts about bacon, but I do like it with some of the stuff I eat. The only thing about bacon lately is it's, it's gotten kind of expensive. So I'm not familiar with that brand. I picked that brand up because it was pretty cheap. You know, one of my big staples. Wraps. I picked up enough wraps here to last me a couple weeks. Picked up some of these sausage patties for my kid. She loves these things and I'll eat them too. Sometimes I just feel like having sausage at night with whatever I'm having. Or if we do, we do breakfast for dinner a lot sometimes. And sausage eggs on a wrap, sausage eggs on a lettuce shell, bacon eggs, you know, just whatever. It's really great. Got a bag of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I've already got some breast left over in my freezer, but I love boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I didn't used to. I, for years, I was only, I'd only eat white meat, never liked dark meat, but I feel like I'm starting to kind of shift in another direction. What I love about boneless, skinless chicken thighs is that they marinate really well, and they hold the flavor. They're easy to cook. You just pop them on the grill or in the crock pot, and they're delicious. They're super easy. They cook pretty quick. They're cheap. Just everything about it is pretty great. I got some cream cheese here. One's for a dessert. One's for an awesome meal I'm going to make. Obviously, I'll keep you uh, tuned in on that. Another thing here that some keto peers might not be a big fan of, but I pick up this really crappy 48 cent per can chili. Now, this stuff has one carb per serving. And you think the whole can's got about 20 carbs. So there's 20 servings in there. But you have a couple spoonfuls on... Um, I'm a burger wraps on like hot dog wraps. Sometimes I'll have it with chicken. I'll make chili cheese chicken, something like that. Uh, subs there, there's probably nothing in that that's good for you or anything or pure in any way, shape, or form. And I guess if you want to stay away from uh, processed foods, stay away from that. But hey, me and my wife love that stuff. I dump a bunch of cayenne in there and get it all hot. One big staple here, chunk chicken breast. Chicken salad. That's another, guys, that's another super easy weeknight thing. If you don't feel like cooking, come home, open a can of that stuff, make it, throw it all together. It takes two minutes. Throw it on a wrap. Throw it on a lettuce shell. If you want to cook, throw some bacon on there. It's great. It's satisfying. It's perfect. And in this case, the Walmart brand here, it's like three bucks and some change for two cans. And the two cans is enough for my family to eat on it that night and enough for us to have something to take to work the next day. Heavy whipping cream. Now, I'm not a big keto coffee guy. I'll have a bulletproof keto whatever coffee every now and again, but I buy whipping cream for something else, a dessert I make, which I'll eventually share with you. Pick up some sunflower kernels. I'll take a handful with me. I have these little tiny Tupperwares. So what I'll do is I'll take about, I don't know, a quarter cup or so, and I'll put them in there, about 28 grams or so, and I'll take them to work. And when I need the snack or whatnot, I'll just pound it real quick. Frank's Red Hot. When it comes to condiments, sometimes you get shafted a bit on keto. With Frank's Red Hot, there's zero carbs in it. And it's pretty good. I'd never really had it until I got into keto. Several things of eggs. Because during the, during the school week, during the, uh, during the year, I like to have hard-boiled eggs. It's a really quick, just pick me up real quick if you need a snack or something and you're in your eating window. I like having hard-boiled eggs in my salads. I mean, it's just such a simple thing. I'm going to show you in another video how I cook them. I don't actually boil them. Got a couple of heads of lettuce. 
obviously for obvious reasons. We got a head of cabbage here. I'm gonna do something awesome with the cabbage. I'll show you that. I'm debating on making a video for Crack Slaw. I probably will. Cilantro. I always buy that stuff. And that's the one thing that I I don't use enough of, and I love this stuff. Some people hate it. They say it tastes like soap, but I'm a level with you. If someone said, is there something out there to taste? What does fresh taste like? And I think cilantro is your answer. Mushrooms. I don't eat many of them. I'll have a, I'll cook something. I'll put it in there, but my wife loves mushrooms. So more jalapeno peppers. Cause I got a couple pepper plants outside, but they're, uh, they're like in between right now. Like I've picked them pretty, picked them pretty thin. So I need some peppers in the meantime. Avocados. I've got a few in the fridge. I decided to grab a couple more. Got some broccoli. And then I got some zucchini here. And the zucchini, I run through my spiralizer and I make zoodles. And if you've never had zoodles, you need to get on the bandwagon for that immediately. Growing up, I hated zucchini, couldn't eat it, despised the stuff. For Christmas, I got a spiralizer and it actually sat for a while. I didn't use it. I finally used it and get one. They're not expensive. Get one. It's gonna change how you feel about zucchini. And then I take it work with me. Some of these clear sparkling water beverages. Now I know the jury is kind of out on this thing a little bit. Some people when they do keto, they don't do diet sodas. They don't do drinks like that. I found that through my experience, I've not really had any trouble. I'm just fine. Like I drink water throughout the day, and I'll drink one of those at lunch. And sometimes I won't, or I'll save it and I'll drink it with dinner, one or the other. Um, but I like those things. And if you've not had those, give those a try. And I think that's it for my haul. So once again, I'll show you the show you the haul here. So we're talking, eh, like I said, about 140 bucks. So that's a little bit more than usual. Usually I do this this kind of stuff for probably closer to 100 to 110 dollars. So I'm gonna do some prep, get some stuff done, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so I just got a few things done and I decided to go ahead and I, I thought about doing another 24 hour fast, but I've already done it a couple times this week. And after getting groceries and stuff today, I found myself relatively hungry. So I decided to go ahead, break my fast, have a little bit of lunch. And in this case, I know it's not going to be exciting, but I went with the old tried and true, the wrap. So, threw some lunch meat on there, some mayo, a little bit of lettuce, and some, uh, my, those vinegar cukes, man, which I freaking love. And I'll go with that and probably a handful of pork rinds and, and call it a lunch on that one there. But between the meat and the wrap, everything else, you're looking at, from what I did here, net carbs at somewhere somewhere around 10, you know, 8 to 12, somewhere in that range. I use a little bit less meat than the serving suggestions would have said, but I use like four different types of meat, if that makes any sense. So, obviously for dinner, I'm going to have something probably a little bit more exciting than that, and we'll find out more about that when that time comes. All right, and here's dinner. We've got a buffalo chicken salad. I got the ingredients about to come up. Threw some ranch on there. It was absolutely delicious. My wife and I enjoyed it. We were both completely stuffed. I finished off my eating window with a nice cup of coffee. That was delicious as well. And that's going to be it for today's video. The one thing I do want to tell you guys before I go is to remember, your journey is your own. Your journey is not going to look like anyone else's. And the only person that's going to make sure you get to the end of that journey is you. So make sure that whatever you choose to do, you stick with it and you do your best. Now, the big thing here, make sure you like, subscribe, and share my videos. I am a new channel. I am just starting out. This only is my fourth keto vlog. But I enjoy making them, and I hope you enjoy watching them as much as I enjoyed making them. So once again, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. School tomorrow.